Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Uh, just a reminder, we will be live on air later. This is just a short video about the news I just heard. Uh, a few minutes ago, I saw in the news uh, a very uh, disturbing news. And I will share with you I mean, my system is not, okay, let's see, all right, I don't know if you can see my screen yet, I will try again, so anyway, in the news, they said that uh, a Ukrainian drone tried to attack uh, the Kremlin and there is like an explosion somewhere in the top of the Kremlin and for some reason uh, my stupid uh, stream yard is not working I don't know why okay let's see why <laughs> I mean the stream yard is really weird anyway uh, I'm just trying to show you the news but you can search it yourself uh, and this is what the news is saying. But I find it very embarrassing and very stupid of those Russians who they are trying to find an excuse to attack Ukraine. And obviously, this filthy scumbag Putin, he is desperate to finish this war. And the only way for him to finish it is to use extreme power will make the Ukrainian go down to their knees. And now they have a new trick that the little tiny army of Ukraine was able to go through all the air defense of Russia, the 500, the 400, the 600, whatever hundred they have, all the airspace and all the defense, and especially this is the Kremlin, and the Ukrainian were able to go all the way there. I mean, who is the stupid who want to believe such a lie? Who is the donkey who will believe such a lie? Stupidity is beyond imagination. But when you are desperate, and when you are zero ethic person, what you will do? You are losing ground. Your army, your massive army, it turned to be a, a bunch of gang, uh, Wagner, Wagner, whatever they call them. And it turned to be that your army is based on terrorists like the Muslim terrorist or Wagner, who they are nothing but other face of terrorism. So you could not win the war. Now we need to find a reason how we can make them lose it. So what we do? Simply, we will create an excuse. And maybe now this filthy man, he will try to launch a nuclear attack. Already the head of the parliament in Russia, they, he's asking to control, to destroy all the administration of Kiev, which means they want to launch a massive attack using a nuclear weapon, maybe, maybe small scale, to kill everybody who live in the capital of Kiev. Very evil, disgusting person. Very satanic. And we, as a Christians, we should learn the lesson that Christians are killed by the evil ones who wear a cross in their neck. Hitler, he put a sign in his flag, which is a cross, but it's an evil cross. Putin, he have a cross in the top of his Kremlin, and he have a Orthodox leader supporting him, supporting killing Christians in, in Ukraine. And all of them, they claim to be religious and claim to be good Christians. And the guy, he go in a Christmas or in the Easter, and he pray to Jesus but they are filthy, disgusting, the same as Muhammad. 
And now they said to themselves, how we are going to stop this losing war? Soon the Ukrainian, they are going to launch a huge attack as all the news says. And they are going to regain a lot of territory. And maybe even they will be able to go to Crimea, which is their land. So what we will do? Let us create any excuse desperately so we can use weapon we are unable to use until now all of us we knew that russia if they want to use this weapon the or the war is over in in five minutes not in five in five days not in five years but they are not finding the excuse to use it and now they are trying to create one this is why this claim is so extremely dangerous and all of us we knew that there is no way ukraine first they don't even have the capability to go all the way to Moscow. Secondly, even if they have it, where is the air defense of Russia? Why, why the whole world is buying their defense system if their defense cannot even protect the criminal? So if the Ukrainian now they have a nuke, they can drop it in the middle of Moscow? Is that what you are saying to me? Who's going to buy weapon from Russia anymore, if this is true? If a little army like Ukrainian army, now they are building themselves, they have the technology to reach all the way to Moscow. What kind of de defense system you have? So all those pictures you show us about the F-500 and the 300, and you know, we can hunt a drone from a distance of 200 miles away. It turned to be you cannot even hunt them from a distance of 20 meters away, if this is true. So it is so clear. that this man is very evil and he's trying to find an excuse to destroy the ukrainian country already he burned maybe 30 percent of the country i believe strongly that this is was something made by the russian themselves this is a fabrication by the russian and imagine the attack is in attempt to, to kill Putin, but Putin in different city. I mean, like how stupid this attack is. And you attack the you attack Putin by attacking the doom of the Kremlin. Where is his bedroom? He sleep there. Who is the stupid there? So it's very stupid, very naive, very dummy. It's a Soviet Union propaganda. You know those communists they have they are out of their mind they are stupid to the point they, they they fabricate a lie because the important is we want to convince the local first that we are right we have a reason to do this they are they are dictators they are communists they claim that they have their churches open but the fact the one is ruling is just the kgb remember putin is nothing but a filthy dog of the kgb a KGB officer, that's mean uh, thousands of people blood in his hands. So how the KGB officer became suddenly the same Putin? You tell me. From their fruits, you shall know them. And now they fabricate this story. Uh, uh, look at the, at the comment. I'm sorry, Zelensky is not a saint. He is not required to be a saint, are you? You will see every scam back making a comment showing you their true skin we don't care if Zelensky is a saint or not you attack their country you destroy their country there's five six millions of their country is refugee so only filthy dogs will support the russian attack i never went against russia actually i appreciate the russian i respect the russian i love the russian I never spoke even bad against Putin. But then, as you know, what always I say, from their fruits, you shall know them. And the fruit of this filthy Putin is evil. He brought an Islamic terrorist army to come to Ukraine to rape Christian women. And they did. And he praised them. And he kept praise, praising Muhammad too. For he is evil the same as Biden. The same as European leaders, all of you European leaders are a scumbag. You are the one behind this war. 
you made those poor Ukrainian stand in the front the same as they did to Georgia before they told the Georgian oh stand for your right you know go against Russia we will support you and when the president of, of Georgia he called the White House the White House president is not there can I talk to George Bush or oh, he's uh, in the Gulf He's busy right now and the Russian they invade half of Georgia and took half of it so the poor people in the east of Europe they trust the West and this is what happened to you when you trust two devil you have one devil in the east it's called Putin and you have bigger devil in the West it's called Joe Biden and the Democrat and even the Republican leaders are the scumbag too they have no friends they have no ethic they have no 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 uh, 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 no like one percent of of decency so they throw them into war they throw them into disaster and now they are watching them dying go go we will give you some weapon and when they give them weapon they give them the lowest the little the useless the one they don't even need the weapon they gave to the Kurdish in Syria is more useful from the weapon they gave them in, in, in Ukraine. And the Ukrainian, they keep begging, please help us. So we know what's happening. We know how Germany betray every human being. The same German is the same one who stood with the Muslims in Constantinia and they forbid the Christians from forbid it. History always repeat itself that the, the, the traitor of, of the Judas between us is the one who support the terrorist. And those poor Ukrainian now didn't know what to do. They didn't know who to fight. They didn't know who want their land because everybody want to take a bite. The American, they want to bite. The Russian, they want to take the whole cake. The, the German, they want to take half of the cake. The Turkish, they want to take 60% of the cake. Everybody want to take a cake. And the one who don't have even the cake is the Ukrainian. So I see this behavior as the most extreme dangerous of a very filthy, satanic, demonic Putin. He's taken advantage of the weakness of America because now we have a weak president. He don't even remember his name. Suddenly everybody is a hero. India now is a standing for America. But yesterday they were kissing the hand of, of uh, Trump. Saudi Arabia, everybody is now is having opinion suddenly. But when Trump was in the office, all of them, they are under his feet, kissing his ass, literally. This is a lesson to learn that it doesn't matter how big your country is, but when you have a foolish president, ruler can destroy your country. And Putin now, actually, he is in the process of destroying his country because if he do a nuke attack and then the American, they decide to respond by nuke attack who is the winner who is the stupid here he is desperate to finish the war he does not know how he asked the chinese to involve he asked the saudi to involve he asked everybody to stop the war but not because he is a good man asking to stop the war war because he is desperate he is losing his economy is collapsing he thought it's a war we will finish in five days maximum. He thought he was going to sleep in the sleep in the bed of Zelensky in after 24 hours. He never thought that the Ukrainian they are going to have and you know going going to defend themselves. And now this trick is very low very stupid and now if if any country want to buy weapon from russia those weapon the 500 you know Erdogan is kissing the ass of putin sell me the 500 i want the 500 and putin say no 500 is too much we will give you only the 400 if all the weapon you have and yet the ukrainian we are able to arrive to your bedroom you coward that's mean all your weapon is nothing but a propaganda you just gave a message to the whole world that our weapon is junk. The Ukrainian army is able to arrive to the heart of Moscow if this is true. But if you can fool everybody, you cannot fool me. We will be live again in a few hours from now.
I just wanted to share this news with you, and this is stupid. Uh, StreamYard could not let me share my screen with me with you. I I don't know what we can say, but you heard you heard me. Let us pray that this evil man will not lose his mind. We have it's enough to have one Hitler. Not long time ago, one more. All humanity, you know, like Muslims, they might they, they dance. All oh, the Muslim, those Christians are going to kill each other. No, all of you, you will die. All of you. Because Americans, they have bases in every single Islamic country. And if the Russian going to use nuke, they have to nuke every single Islamic country. Deal with it. The biggest base of American is in Qatar. If you nuke Qatar, all the countries around is dead. Qatar is not even in the size of a chicken house. In the best description. Very tiny, small country. Not only millions of Muslims will die. Your water will be doomed. Your land will be doomed. Your oil industry will be destroyed. And you will be hungry like, 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 like zombie. So this is not good for all of humanity. What's happening right now? And this evil Putin must go. So if you want to pray good, pray for good. Pray to the Lord. He will take this evil man. Send him to hell. So we will not go to nuclear war. War will burn all mankind. American, they have bases in Djibouti, in Africa, in, even in Somalia. Everywhere they have bases. In Saudi Arabia, they are not even... A 70 mile from Mecca. In Emirat, in Bahrain, in, in, in Qatar, in Turkey, in uh, everywhere. Actually, Americans, they have bases in Muslim countries more than they have in any other countries. And when nuke happened, Nuke is going to go everywhere. Whatever the American they are, the Russian they will hit. And the Russian will do, the American will do the same. So they will nuke Syria. They will nuke all the Islamic, you know, the Kazakhstan, whatever those names. All of those, they will be demolished. Evil. Evil is taking over the world. And now I could not believe that they are low in their propaganda machine to go that down. I mean, who in the world want to believe this garbage? All the way to the Kremlin? All the way? Not only the distance, you know, like how many times the Russian, they said, we build a very, and Putin, he was bragging about his air defense, and nobody can, not even a mosquito can go through your, your Russia, and especially in Moscow. Moscow is so much protected. And now we found that little Ukrainian drone made by, by maybe some teenage boys is going all the way to the Kremlin and trying to assassinate Putin. What about assassinating him when he's in his car? <laughs> and, you know, how you can assassinate a person the bomb cannot even go through a roof. <laughs> I mean, what's the point of this? So it's obvious. It is stupid. It is. It is. It is. It's a. It's like a, it's a shame. Shame scam. Low class man, Putin is, and the one who is behind this idea, trying to save his ass. His, you know, the Russian support to the war is going down. So they are hoping now more Russian they will stand behind him, say, yeah, protect our president. They are trying to assassinate our president. You are, you know, long life the king. This is the whole idea. This guy is dying inside his country. Nobody respects him no more. People are leaving. If you go right now to Thailand, you will see in Thailand people, they start speaking Russian. There's nobody speaking Thai language. Russia right now is in Thailand. Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, or, you know, there's no, there, all the young men of Russia, they are going out. Because nobody want to serve in such a stupid war, a losing war. He's trying to take a city, it's called Bakhmut, 
for the last four months the massive army of Russia could not take a city small town it's not even a city after hundreds of days of fighting after hiring a missionary to to fight in professional killers still they could not take the city they are losing ground they are bleeding badly and now he is trying to find a way to get out so I'm expecting that this evil man now he will do a massive attack hoping that this massive attack will force the Ukrainian to go down in their knee and give up and say okay you took our land fine take it that's all the game we pray that the evil will be destroyed we pray that the human they will not be stupid and they will be smart and they will see farther than their finger we pray that people will know that war will serve no good for anyone war is always about the blood and killing and nothing good in that war only can be justified is to defend yourself and we know who is attacking who and we know which soldiers in the land of who we know who is the occupier we know who is the unjust and you know better thank you for being here and we will be back in a few hours from now join us live and invite your friends we will be back i think after five hours from now less than five hours take care and god bless bye bye